Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your brother in Islam, Yasir Qadi. Now, obviously, uh, you know, we're not going to go into the spiritual aspect because we believe firmly that the greatest blessing that Allah can give anybody is the blessing of faith in Him. And of course, as our Prophet Sallallahu said, of the best blessings is the blessings of good health. These are all blessings that we appreciate. But the Quran also tells us that Allah has blessed us with what is called al-mal or possessions or material possessions. And from an Islamic perspective, material possessions encompasses a broad uh, array of uh, 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 items that we own, items that we engage in business and selling. And for example, the books of fiqh tell us that zakat is given on various items and various uh, things that we possess. So for example, it is given on what is called gold and silver, and money is an extension of gold and silver. It is also given on land, and it is given on uh, livestock or cattle, and it is given on business goods. These are the types of categories that we find in the books of fiqh when it comes to zakat. So from our perspective, wealth is not just the cash that we own, it's also other investments that may take place. And this can include, uh, for the farmers, it includes their livestock. Uh, for uh, people who own land, it includes the lands that they own. For people who invest in businesses, it includes the business investments. And of course, cash is an extension in the Islamic tradition. It is an extension of gold and silver. All of this and anything that you buy and sell in, and the broadest category is the category of business merchandise. So there are people who buy and sell goods, they buy and sell furniture, they buy and sell properties. Each one of these is a type of, in the Sharia we call it business merchandise. And all of these merchandise, it comes under wealth. And of course, uh, a wise investor and a wise Muslim will want to diversify and have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. That is a part of business ethics, it's a part of common sense, and it is also a part of our Islamic tradition.